Welcome students. In India, we have a fundamental right under Article 14 where we say there is equality before law. But is that equality before law absolute enough to make sure the people are equal in equal punishments and equal status? There's an exception to it. And the first exception that serves is about the exceptions given to president and governor. As part of it, let's look at the contentious issue of immunities that are granted to governors. There is a case that is being languishing in Supreme Court and Supreme Court is now looking into the issue of the immunity that is being granted to governors. Article 361 of Indian Constitution grants immunity to governors Again, be careful here. It's only related to criminal cases. What kind of criminal cases could serve? It may be related to any kind of cases where some civil issues also may be involved. When I say civil issues, it may be related to any criminal act of rape, any sexual assault, any kind of criminal asarping or encroachments, anything maybe. So, the question is, do they have the immunity in civil cases? No. In civil cases, there is no immunity. The famous case of Indi Tiwari proves that it, there is no immunity granted here in case of civil laws. So, now the Supreme Court when the issue served with the governor of West Bengal is looking into the issue whether Article 361 could be given absolute. Yes, the issue is not yet finally adjudicated, but in case if Article 361 is considered with a special case where the immunity would be absolved, the real intelligent differentia comes into place and the Article 14 might be absolute. And even the question about the immunity of president could be taken up later. Will that happen? The time would say. Till then, let's wait. Hope you got some insights about Article 361 and the existence of this immunity to governors. Till the time, I meet you next with another video. Thank you.